Hello, welcome back to <laughs> Theme Park Wizard. Uh, we're here today getting some leaked images for Super Nintendo World. We're um, well, leaked um, via the wonderful Alicia, Alicia Stella at Orlando Park Stop. Definitely go follow her on Twitter at Alicia Stella or at, or, or, at Park Stop. Um, definitely go check out the blog Orlando Park Stop. They have Extensive news coverage. They had extensive new co news coverage on Hagrid's um, motor motorbike features for what even was under construction, and they had lots of great documents and news on the Super Nintendo worlds being built in Japan, Orlando, and here in Hollywood. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video at 438 subscribers. That'd be awesome to get if we get awesome to get to 450 um, and to continue our awesome climb thank you so much for the support for those of you who have subscribed but we're going back here now these leaked images they show the area that was most likely for Universal Studios Orlando or Florida and the what was going to be placed it was supposed to be replacing the kid zone area in the Universal Studios Florida Park but now those plans have been on hold, and it's most likely an expanded area, um, potentially featuring Legend of Zelda and stuff going into Universal's brand new third park, which is currently under construction. The first picture here, you see is the picture of the entire land, and you can see the picture of the Bowser's Castle is where the Mario Kart attraction will be, and you can see you know, next time we go to Universal, hopefully soon, I'll be getting a Universal Studios Holly, uh, construction update and at Hollywood you can see the curvature of the track of the Mario Kart attraction already being um, installed there and looks really really cool so we'll definitely get a video of that for you before the steel and stuff starts going up and that starts being enclosed. Uh, Bowser's Castle will be the facade of the Mario Kart attraction and then um, there'll be the Mushroom Kingdom which will have a uh, quick service restaurant as well as the Yoshi Omni Mover ride, as you can see in this next picture here. And it will be part indoor, part outdoor attraction, where um, you can see the Yoshis, the line of Yoshis is the ride system that are, um, that's coming outside of the uh, castle into the uh, pipe over there. And on the bottom, where the toast will lose will be things called Toadstool Cafe, which will be the quick service location, um, which is pretty cool. And it's also really pretty cool that this land is multi-level, with like almost like the new Jurassic World area, where um, how they made made it kind of tiered and multi-level, and they opened up the second level of Jurassic Cafe. Multi-level lands make it and much more um, <clears throat> make it much more dynamic than just a flat plane. Like the Wizard Mortal Harry Potter just kind of just a flat plane there. So that'd be really cool to see this um, multi level land. And then the last area over here is the what, one of my most interesting parts, and that's the Donkey Kong Kingdom. And here you see it's a whole jungle and <clears throat> temple and um, type of atmosphere of waterfalls and trees. And the wooden tracks of the Donkey Kart, M Donkey Kong Mine Train roller coaster, um, which is gonna, which from this concept, we're gonna learn it's gonna be part indoor, part outdoor. You're gonna be entering through the temple, and you're gonna board the mine cart, and it actually the Universal filed a patent for um, a ride system where the actual track is on the bottom. But then it's like hung by two levers, um, yeah, two two poles or whatever you want to call it, steel poles, kind of hold the actual vehicle, and the vehicle is traveling on fake track. So and then it allows you the real tracks like down here, the fake tracks up here, it allows vehicles to hop over, hop over things. So there's in the concept art you'll see there's the track in front of the temple. 
and um, there's a waterfall and then the track is hopping over that area which is pretty um, cool at least look like you're in a video in the video game itself and that's much more thrilling aspect to it because like oh my god I'm in the air which I'm very excited to see how, how it all works out um, when it's built. I think Universal Studios Hollywood is getting the... Okay, I heard rumors... Definitely, we're definitely getting the Mario Kart attraction. I heard rumors that the Secret Life of Pets ride is the same ride system as the Yoshi ride. So I don't think we're getting the Yoshi ride. But I heard Donkey Kong and Mario Kart for Universal Studios Hollywood. Only thing I with that is Donkey Kong is an outdoor coaster, and we're not allowed to have outdoor coasters, outdoor coasters on the lower lot because the, the sound stage is right there, and there'll be too much noise for the filming, which is why Revenge of the Mummy is inside, as well as Jurassic World has the indoor drop. This is originally why they have the indoor drop, not for the more thrilling aspect, because simply because they could they have to keep the screams inside the building. So, Turned out to be such a fun and thrilling aspect that they added the indoor drop to all the Jurassic Park versions around the world. Um, <clears throat> but again, it was originally intended for um, because this keep, keep, keep the screams inside the building so um, work on the sound stages, they wouldn't be interrupted when they're filming their TV shows and movies. So comment below, guys. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the... Um, uh, do you like? Do you guys like Super Nintendo World? Are you excited for this attract for these attractions? Are you want all three to come to Universal Studios Hollywood, either now or in the future? Um, do these ride systems, especially the Donkey Kong Mine, the Donkey Kong Mine Kart coaster, um, seem really cool to you? I think it seems pretty awesome to me. Also, the Mario Kart attraction looks like they'll be dueling. It looks like there's two tracks. They'll be doing like doing as an actual race, which is pretty awesome. Probably using virtual reality or something to like uh, throw bananas and your car will probably stop. Like when you trip over an obstacle or something like just in the game. So do you guys think that's pretty awesome? I think it's pretty awesome. <clears throat> Special supposed to open in 2021 in Universal Studios Hollywood and uh, Japan <laughs> the, uh, next year. So we'll get to see. Um, how the Mario Kart ride at least works, and uh, I don't, I'm not sure if Japan is getting one of the other two rides, but if they are, we'll have to, we'll get to see how it all works out as early as next year. So comment below what you guys think, and have a great day. Don't forget to make sure to hit that big thumbs up button and click the notification bell for constant theme park updates, and subscribe.